Shemuel Shani, 2 Samuel 5. Then came all the tribes of Yashadael to El David unto Hebron, and spoke, saying, Behold, we are your bone and your flesh. Also in time past, when Shaul was king over us, you were he that led out and brought in at Yashadael. And Yahuwah said to you, You shall feed at my people, at Yashadael, and you shall be a captain over Yashadael. So all the elders of Yashadael came to the king to Hebron, and King David cut a covenant with them in Hebron before Yahuwah, and they anointed at David king over Yashadael. David was thirty years old when he began to reign, and he reigned for forty years. In Hebron he reigned over Yahuda seven years and six months, and in Yerushalayim he reigned thirty and three years over all Yashadael and Yahuda. And the king and his men went to Yerushalayim unto the Yevusim the inhabitants of the land, which spoke unto David, saying, Except you take away the blind and the lame, you shall not come in hither, thinking, David cannot come in hither. Nevertheless, David took at the stronghold of Sion. The same is the city of David. And David said on that day, Whosoever gets up to the gutter and smites the Yevusim and doth the lame and doth the blind that are hated of David's soul, he shall be chief and captain. Wherefore they said, The blind and the lame shall not come into the house. So David dwelt in the fort and called it the city of David. And David built round about from Milo and inward. And David went on and grew great. And Yahuwah Elohim Savaoth was with him. And Hiram, king of Soor, sent messengers to El David. And cedar trees and carpenters and masons. They built David a house. David perceived that Yahuwah had established him king over Yashadael, and that he had exalted his kingdom for his people Yashadael's sake. And David took him more concubines and women out of Yerushalayim after he was come from Hebron, and there were yet sons and daughters born to David. And these be the names of those that were born unto him in Yerushalayim, Shamua, and Shovav, and Nathan, and Shalomoa, rather, Shaloma. Rivka also, and Elishua, and Nefeg, and Yafia, and Elishama and Elida and Eliphelet. But when the Peleshitim heard that they had anointed Eth David king over Yashadael, all the Peleshitim came up to seek Eth David, and David heard of it and went down to the hold. The Peleshitim also came and spread themselves in the valley of Rephaim. And David inquired of Yahuwah, saying, Shall I go up to the Pelishtim? Will you deliver them into my hand? And Yahuwah said unto El David, Go up, for I will doubtless deliver at the Pelishtim into your hand. And David came to Baal Parashim, rather Baal Peratzim, and David smote them there and said, Yahuwah has broken forth upon Eth my enemies before me as the breach of waters. 
Therefore he called the name of that place Baal Paratzim. And there they left at their images, and David and his men burned them. And the Pelishtim came up yet again and spread themselves in the valley of Raphaim. And when David inquired of Yahuwah, he said, You shall not go up, but fetch a compass behind them and come upon them over against the mulberry trees. And let it be when you hear eth the sound of a going in the tops of the mulberry trees, that they rather that then you shall bestir yourself. For then shall Yahuwah go out before you to smite the host of the Pelishtim. And David did so, as Yahuwah had commanded him, and smote eth the Pelishtim from Giva until you come to Gezer. <laughs>